Hello, I am Tom Cunningham, the new trustee for the British Dragonfly Society in Scotland. And I would like to thank Daniel Muir for inviting me to join. Until June 2020, I was the Nature Reserve Manager for Tensweir National Nature Reserve in North East Fife for over 22 years. Tensweir National Nature Reserve consists of three sites, Tensweir Point and Aberty Sands, this is the image above, which is a dynamic sand dune system, Tayport Heath, which consists of various grasses and heathers, and Morton Locks, which is a relic sand dune system and consists of three locks, various ponds, fenland and woodlands, and for this exercise, we'll be concentrating on Morton Locks. This map shows the three sites which make up Tensmuir National Nature Reserve. This is one of the information panels uh, around Morton Locks, and it shows the, the, the locks along with the various woodlands. And the exciting thing was in 2014, Morton Locks was declared a dragonfly hotspot. It illustrates the positive working relationship we developed with Danielle and Andrea of BDS Scotland, along with our amazing volunteers. This image shows you the North Loch, along with some of the ponds you can just make out hopefully and you can even see two of the bird hides on the far bank this is the view up the north loch and um, it's a great view um which demonstrates uh, our management of the, on the locks when i first came here 22 years ago you couldn't see any water it was so overgrown uh, reeds and aquatic flora, and we're, we've got all under control now. The view down on the other side, down to the south loch, and again, it demonstrates um, the great positive management work that we're doing there. This is uh, one of the starts of um, Danielle. We're out with the uh, great volunteers, uh, Jerry and Ralph, about to start a dragonfly and damselfly transit. This shows the state of some of the ponds, so overgrown you can hardly see any water. So this is um, the start of bringing in volunteers, along with Danielle and reserve staff, to start clearing out the ponds. This is um, Blair, uh, he was the very first student placement about five years ago, uh, along with a lovely volunteer, and they were making a start clearing the ponds. Along with Danielle and um, some of the volunteers that Danielle would bring in, along with some of our volunteers on the reserve, uh, they made a great effort over a two or three years, and this demonstrates the great achievements that they've made. More volunteer work on, a, on the same pond, and you can just see that the, the water, uh, open water, has increased. After using a lot of muscle power, um, everybody's enjoying a lunch break. Here we are again with Blair and the volunteer, and you can just see this pile of uh, aquatic matter and sediment that's been pulled to the side. Here we are uh, with um, one of the visitors coming out of the ponds. This is uh, showing the 
the larger pond that was uh, cleared out with uh, mechanical means a JCB um, a good few years ago uh, with Jerry, Steve, and uh, Ralph um, carrying out the Dragonfly survey. This is the same three guys, Jerry, Steve, and Ralph, um, were one of the great magnifiers. We was like caught a, dram a damselfly or a, a dragonfly and they're uh, having a good look to identify it. This is one of the long ditches and it's a great um, ditch for dragonflies and damselflies breeding. The same ditch with some of the high banks that we've got, great site for sand marks. This is a closer look at the same bank. Um, and we've had a great success with the sand marks. This is a closer look at the, um, the magnifier. Um, absolutely brilliant tool. Uh, causes no harm to the, the little uh, damsel or uh, dragons uh, during the identification, but they are released quite quickly. Daniel um, leads uh, dragonfly and damselfly identification workshop days, uh, and this is one of the first groups that went out, and they all had a great time. And of course, there's so many other wildlife to see. Could be red squirrels just uh, spotting, or maybe sea eagle. This is Danielle's lovely dog. When we we meander up the path, which used to be an old railway line to Tapor. So, thank you very much. It's the final slide. And um, I hope you've had a brief look into dragonfly and damselflies.